Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you Hackintosh the easy way using Proxmox. So, the way we're going to do this is using a one click template. So, these templates were created by me and my Discord team. These allow you to uh, actually get macOS up and running without any additional configuration. The only configuration step that you need to do mainly is enabling IOMMU which allows GPU pass-through and uh, PCI adding card pass-through uh, such as Wi-Fi cards, uh, Bluetooth cards, USB cards, things like that. So you can see on the screen right now uh, you've got my website. So we've got a download links page now uh, which is going to be in the description below. What I want you to do is download uh, a version uh, that you want to set up. So the Sonoma uh, because it's in developer beta um, obviously not everything's supported so today I'm going to show you Ventura so all we're going to do on the website is click on HSV Hackintosh Ventura if I click on that it'll take you to the download station so you can see here that it's a second revision of this Ventura template uh, with the updated open core and the te uh, text and also the apps and tools. Um, so you've got two options. So you've got the 2005 uh, labeled template, which is a pre installed version. So this means that when you boot up this template for the first time, uh, it will just straight up um, be ready. You just use the initial setup screen. So setting your language, Apple ID, things like that, uh, and it'll be ready to use. Then you have the 2001 label. This is a pre-configured. So this is for only if the 2005 pre-installed template doesn't boot. So this allows you to uh, get it installed, uh, but it does require some additional steps. So first I'm going to show you the uh, pre-installed template. And then later on in this video, I will show you the pre-configured one and how to actually set it up. So, you've got two options for download. You've got a torrent and a direct download. So, a torrent uh, uses peer-to-peer uh, -peer connections. Uh, so, sometimes you get faster speeds using the torrent. But, if you don't have a torrent client or just really don't want to use a torrent, all you do is do the three dots next to the 2005 or the 2001, if that's what you're using, and click on download. Then, if we go to the downloads folder, you can see it starts to download. I usually get about 280 megabits, um, but you can see it's just a bit slow. So, basically, um, once that's done, obviously, uh, mine's already uh, ready. Uh, so obviously, I've created these templates along with Tor, my Discord moderator. Uh, once you've got this downloaded, you need a program called WinSCP. So, I'll show you now how to get that. So to download WinSCP, go to WinSCP um, download on the internet. It's the WinSCP.net. Click consent, download WinSCP and then whatever version. Uh, and then obviously direct download. So quick and easy 10 megabyte file. Uh, and you just go through it like a uh, normal setup. Um, so if I just wait for it to go through, uh, whilst it does, uh, yeah, there we go. But whilst it does um, set itself up, what I'm going to do is you just click install for all users, accept the UIC, and then read through the terms and accept them. Typical installation, and then just next through all of these. Uh, it's quick and easy. Uh, but once it's done, you'll get an icon on your desktop, and also in the uh, start menu, we click. Uh, untick the getting started page and click launch when SCP you can see it's now launched so you'll have it in your downloads folder uh, but I'm just going to actually uh, do that now um, and then I'll meet you back and show you how to copy it over right so with that copied over all you want to do is enter the IP address of your Proxmox host so mine's 192.168.0.35 the username is always going to be root and the password is the one that you've set in installation. Click login. If it asks you about an unknown host key, just click yes. 
And then on the left here is the local PC. On the right is the server. So mine's in the download section. So I'm just going to go back a directory and double click in downloads. And you can see the VZ Dunk QEMU 2005 template. So we're going to uh, backslash into the root directory, which is forward slash. So you double click into there. Right at the bottom, you've got var. Double click into that double click into VZ, scroll down to the bottom, uh, sorry you double click into the lib and then double click into VZ, then go to dump and then I've already got some files here but yours will be blank, uh, I'm actually just going to delete them files uh, just to make it easier. So then you just drag the template in, it's as simple as that. So it'll say do you want to upload, click OK. So now it'll uh, go over Usually I'll get about 50 megabit, uh, megabytes per second Sorry, um, over, but it says about 3 minute 45. Uh, so I won't keep you waiting and I'll see you once it's actually completed. So you can see now it's copied over. Um, you can see it's on the right now fully. Uh, so all we need to do is go uh, back over to Proxmox Virtual Environment. So on Proxmox, you just want to go to your local, it will be called local like mine, then backups because it will be on summary by default, click on backups and you can see that it's there. Now all you want to do is click on that and do restore. Then just some few configuration options, so what storage, so select your storage, if you've only got one obviously just select that, I've got multiple here so I'm going to select uh, VM storage 4 for mine. Give it an ID, so I'll do 896 for example uh, and call it HV Ventura. Keep all that at default for me, uh, I don't need to change that. And then the one click restore. So now it'll restore, so it'll take a few moments uh, depending on the speed of your disks. Uh, obviously, the disk that's got the backup on. Uh, and the disk that's got the um, actual uh, thing copying over, so the actual disk image, um, will depend on how long it takes. For example, if you're copying over from a network attached storage device, uh, like I've got, uh, my Synology, uh, which is run on a VM in Proxmox, if you haven't seen that video, uh, please check it out on my channel. Um, it all depends on how long it takes to finish. So, I'm just going to not keep you waiting and meet you back when it's fully restored. So, you can see it took 75 seconds, so just over a minute. You'll know it's done when it says Task OK in all capitals. Also, if you go to Status, it will say Stopped OK. So, you click Close Dialog. You can see 896 HSV Ventura. If we go to Summary here, you get a Notes page. So, it basically tells you uh, a few instructions, and if you're running an AMD system, it's pre-installed for an Intel system. So you just need to edit the VM config um, using nano, and then etc pve qemu server forward slash, and then in my case 896.conf, and then commented out the existing arguments and pasting them in. Obviously. Um, you can uh, visit the Discord if you have a bit of trouble adding them in. You can see here there's a notice about the uh, INVTSC, uh, which is how to uh, emulate the frequency of the CPU, but it could break booting uh, as well. Then on the hardware section, you can customize. So this is where you'd add your GPU. Um, you go to PCI device. Scroll down, add your GPU in, for example, uh, which I'll go through in a moment. Um, and then consoles where you actually interact with the VM. So if we go on full screen and click start now, macOS will begin to boot straight away. So there's no installation, uh, no configuration. All you need to configure is IOM and Mute. So the IOM and Mute needs to be enabled. I'll leave a link in my blog post down below. Um, to how to actually configure it. You can see we're on the open core boot menu. If we press enter, macOS will begin to load. So in the blog post, there's a 
PCIe pass-through guide. Uh, you just enter some commands in the command line uh, and you can instantly boot macOS. Uh, I won't cover that in this video, um, but I will in the next video. So you can see uh, here, macOS um, is ready to be set up. Um, I won't go through setting it up because it's just normal. The only thing you do need to know is um, to skip Apple ID um, because you need to generate an SM BIOS later. So you can see on the select your country or region, um, all you need to do is obviously select your language and things and skip the Apple ID um, and the analytics stuff. Uh, but I'll meet you when we're on the Ventura desktop. So here we are in the Ventura desktop. So we've got the keyboard setup assistant. I'm just going to complete that. Click done. And you can see on the top right of the desktop, we've got HSV Get It Started. So if we double click into that, we've got two things. We've got a folder called Get Started and a readme file, which is a PDF. If we double click in the readme file, it literally tells you everything. So being told written this up, uh, it tells you everything literally everything uh, so I won't uh, go through that today um, all I'm going to say is it's pretty straightforward if you follow this guide again if you need any help visit the discord link below now let's go into the pre-configured template so if I shut down this uh, we'll restore the 2001 template which is pre-configured also, the templates, um, all of them, whether it be from High Sierra all the way to Sonoma, uh, they all work the same. So the pre-installed one uh, shows you the setup screen and the pre-configured one, you have to uh, type in the shell command, which I will go through now. So if I go on my storage and go to um, the 2001 template, which I don't actually have downloaded, so I'm going to uh, go to here go to the uh, direct download right click download uh, wait for that to download and I'll show you the pre-configured so I've moved over the pre-configured template now the 2001 labeled um, so if I click restore it's the same principle really select your storage uh, the properties uh, you can override the settings here memory cores uh, and then once you're done just click restore uh, this one doesn't take as long to restore uh, because all it's doing is copying over the Ventura ISO, the uh, OpenCore ISO that's customized by us, and the HSV ISO with all the tools and EFI folders for you. So again, just to um, not keep you waiting, I'll just skip along. So again, you can see it's done with the task OK. So I've labeled this uh, just simply the 110. Now, uh, the same hardware settings apply. If we go to console, click start now, and then um, wait until we get into the open call boot menu. You see we only have two options. So we have UEFI shell and reset and VRAM. If we press enter on UEFI shell and enter again, you'll get a shell prompt. So it just says shell and then an arrow. That's it. To get into the installer, we need to do fs0 colon backslash. On UK keyboard, you need to do the alt gi key and then the hash key to get backslash because we have to emulate the US keyboard. So you do fs0 colon backslash system. So if I do sys and then tab, it falls it out for me. Call services. Uh, sorry, system, library, call services, boot.efi. So again, fs0 colon backslash system, backslash library, backslash call services, backslash boot.efi. If we press enter, you can see we get the Apple logo, uh, and this will load into the installer. Just to speed things up, I'll just skip to when it's loaded. So once you pass the Apple logo, you get a screen like this. So this would be typically what you see in the recovery screen, which is exactly what it is. So we need to go to Disk Utility, double click, go to the view at the top, Show All Devices, 
Then we need to go to the Apple Link Vertio Block Media. Then go to Erase. Name it whatever you want, so Mac OS. Make sure that the format's APFS. And the scheme is GUID. Then click on Erase. It'll then erase the uh, volume. When it says that it's complete, just click Done. Close out of the disk utility and double click Install Mac OS Ventura. Now, the installer may get unresponsive if you're booting off a recovery drive, um, like a NAS. So, if we click continue, you can see that it, we get the spinning wheel of death. Don't worry about this. Um, you just have to wait a little moment and then we'll be on the next step, like you can see. So, read the agreements. When you're uh, sure that you're ready to continue, you can click agree and then agree again. Then you have three options, the macOS disk that you created, I will get started partition and the actual install macOS Ventura uh, disk. We're obviously going to click the one that we just created, then click on continue. So when it's got past this phase, it will reboot. You just need to keep pressing enter on the default value. Then you'll be back at that same setup screen on the pre-installed template. So from there, it's the exact same and you've got that HSV folder on the desktop. So I hope you enjoyed this video on setting up the easy way. Um, if you did, please leave a like. Uh, consider subscribing as we're close to 4,000 subscribers. Um, and also, uh, if you need any more help, visit the Discord server below. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.